Hey guys, huddle up! It's time for another Around the Storage Block Chalk Talk. In this Chalk Talk, I'm going to introduce you to HPE Cloud Bank Storage. How are you protecting your mix of traditional IT and private cloud infrastructure? Three numbers I want to share with you. 56, 38, and 30%. What do these represent? 56% of organizations use private on-premises cloud. 38% use hosted private clouds. 30% of enterprises are running an average of more than 1,000 VMs in a private cloud. Long-term retention in DR are prime use cases for the cloud. Two more numbers, 42 and 40%. 42% of enterprises use cloud for backup and archive, while 40% of enterprises use cloud for disaster recovery. This is in large part due to the operational agility, efficiency, and appealing cost structure that a secure offsite data repository provides. HPE Cloud Bank Storage elevates protection and retention to a new tier using low-cost object storage. Here's a summary. Lower cost of long-term protection with AWS, Azure, or on-premises object storage. Optimized bandwidth usage via federated deduplication while object interface enables multi-cloud support. Instantly cloud-enable your backup ISV, including flash-optimized protection for 3PART. Supports backup ISVs like Veritas NBU, Data Protector, and more along with Recovery Manager Central apps for flash-optimized protection. Enable more flexibility and control from disaster recovery to long-term retention. Use existing policies, support multi-cloud destinations, and restore CloudBank storage stores to any on- or off-prem store. You can protect over 100 petabytes of data at object storage costs starting from one-tenth of a penny per gigabyte per month. What is HPE CloudBank storage? Let me draw you a picture. It starts with your data protection software a store one system, and object storage. In this use case, the customer directs backup to a regular Catalyst store. Then for long-term backup data retention, a Catalyst copy job is run. Metadata is stored on store once and copy the backup data to the cloud bank storage. That's AWS, Microsoft Azure, for public cloud and scality for on-premises. And what's written to the object storage is also deduplicated data, so it's very efficient, with 20 to one being common. So let's reset my graphic now and look at a restore from Cloud Bank Storage. And of course, this would assume that your local copy is expired. We're going to issue a GET to restore the unique data from the object store. We'll compare the requested items in the local store and Cloud Bank Storage and finally restore the unique data from the object store and completing the restoration process. How about using Cloud Bank Storage for disaster recovery? If the original Store One system or the site isn't accessible, you would create a Catalyst store in an existing StoreOnce system or even use StoreOnce VSA, which I'm showing here. We recover the Cloud Bank storage to the new system. In the final step, we connect the backup application to the Catalyst store and recover the data. This is a huge advantage over the competition as they often require the original source appliance. What is supported with Cloud Bank storage? From a StoreOnce system perspective, all current systems are supported with the exception of the free 1TB VSA. The optic storage can be Microsoft Azure, AWS S3 Standard, AWS Glacier, or Scality. The data protection application has to be one that supports StoreOnce Catalyst copy, and those are listed. Let me summarize the benefits of Cloud Bank Storage. Lower TCO by retaining large amount of data for a long period of time without the cost of media handling and media logistics typically associated with tape technologies. It's simple and efficient with a single management point for copy control from existing backup applications. Store once deduplication optimizes the use of bandwidth while sending and retrieving copies to the cloud. It reduces risk. In the case of losing a store once appliance, customers can restore the cloud bank store to an alternate local or cloud based store once system. And it's flexible with a broad ecosystem of supported apps and ISVs and multi cloud vendor support. To learn more, go to hpe.com slash storage slash store once. Always love to hear from you on Twitter, where you can find me as Calvin Zito. You can find my blog at hpe.com slash storage slash blog. Until next time, thanks for joining me on this Around the Storage Block Chalk Talk.